Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is Darrell. We are here with some NBA 2K Mobile, and there were some pretty big announcements made in the game yesterday. The first one is this brand new Michael Jordan that's sitting on the top left corner, and we'll break down all the details about this card, but the first big announcement is that there is a new tier coming out in the game. You know, folks, these tiers are dropping pretty quick, but listen, they got to keep the game fresh, so I totally get it. But let's go into the official announcement we do have a new theme coming out as well so there was a sneak peek and then i'm also draw a parallel between that and the new michael jordan right because you know we always got to put things into perspective that's what we do here on the channel all right so let's break it down brand new image on there right we got a purple sapphire tier arriving next week it's pretty insane if you think about it right just looking at the card 379k power that's incredible right the first theme of the tier will celebrate the Lunar New Year, which is always a really fun theme inside the game. We usually see a lot of great names added to this theme. Uh, usually we get a new Yao Ming, a Carmelo Anthony. I'm hoping this time around we could get a new Jeremy Lin as well. It's been a while we got a Jeremy Lin in the game. So this is a pretty exciting theme. I always enjoy it. And there was an awesome Kobe Bryant a few years ago that was introduced to this theme as well. I mean, the artwork is top tier all the time, but let's break down this Dwayne Wade as well. All right, so the D-Wade is not in the catalog yet, but this D-Wade will have the same stats as the other Dwayne Wade cards, and I don't think his stats are changing either. So we'll go to a previous Dwayne Wade. There's been a couple recently. I think there was one for the Angle Breakers theme. So Dwayne Wade has a five and shoot off dribble, mid-range shooting, agility playmaking defender so he's normally one of the top shooting guards in the game and his stats are pretty similar to jordan but what i did notice with this new jordan i'm gonna go into it because this is pretty crazy right this is a you could say it's like a limited edition jordan right the card even has a special ability called super ticket holder this card provides an additional 20 percent style bonus in all limited time events and this makes this card pretty unique because when compared to the courtside pass cards as ticket holder those only get 10 percent style bonus in all events so this jordan you'll be able to use basically in every event it'll be good for every mini event too but what i didn't notice right off the back is the power difference so this jordan has 434,000 power and if we go back to the image d wade has 379k power so this mj is a lot more powerful than a d wade and if we were to calculate it based on all the themes that drop it seems like the themes cards go up in power about thirty thousand from the previous tier but look at another shooting guard like vince carter was one of the most recent ones so he was 344 d-way we already saw is about 379 so if we were to keep that in perspective that means the next theme cards that were to come out in the game will be around 400 something thousand power mj still 434 so if you were to add this Jordan to your lineup, believe me, I know you got to go through hoops and hurdles to get this card, right? He's exclusive to that press your dunk pack opening. I've seen King James get him at around 120,000 coins. I've heard some people get him around 150,000. That press your dunk is a lot tougher than normal. That's why I'm not doing it, right? I only got 36,000 coins, which would have been enough for press your dunk. But this one here, it's just a little too high for me. But if you were inclined to do it, this Jordan, you can use it for a long time, right? You definitely can use it for like at least two months, right? Because it seems like the new tiers come out like every two months. And then because he got even more higher than what those cards I think will have, those theme cards, and I think even longer, right? Because I'm going to explain why. If those theme cards that come out for whatever tier it is, they're going to be around 400, 410K power. This Jordan is still higher than that. This Jordan's power... It's like two tiers from now, which is pretty insane if you think about it. So that means this Jordan could be good and used in your lineup for at least four to five months. This game is not pay to win, right? I know some people think that, but it's not. It really isn't because um, you don't need to have this Jordan card in your lineup. Like you'll still be matched up against people that are within your power. You're most likely still going to be able to qualify for the highest tier reward because look, the power requirement for Aquamarine was 305k if i was to make a guess what the power requirement will be for purple sapphire and i don't know yet but i'm just making a good guess it'll be around 315 to 335k right that's a range so that's how you know i don't know right but i think it's a good safe estimate so 335k power 
you're still good right you're still going to be able to get the purple sapphire tier cards on your team so you don't really need this jordan immediately this is more so for those that like to use jordan on their team it gives you a very good jordan card that's going to get style points in every event forever right? i think that's the biggest value there you could also use them in power cap a lot of value there you can use them in domination as a bench player because it will be easy to upgrade once newer tiers come out so i mean it's a pretty good card now also this jordan has the best stats for jordan and the stats that stand out to me are that six in playmaking and the six in layups and dunks and i'm gonna show you another jordan just to show you that this has been buffed so this is the new jordan and this is the money makers which is like one of the most recent jordan cards so the playmaking is a five layups and dunks is a five and I think those are the only two stats that will increase. I could be wrong, but I'm going to double check. Yeah, because this three-point shot is still a four. So you still got potential to build out this Jordan to be incredible. And I will do a boost the stats video for this Jordan. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's the short series I have where I talk about what builds to create for the players. You can find them on the shorts tab on my channel. I mean, they're really good. And they're very short, hence the name, right? The videos are like 15 to 30 seconds at tops. And it gives you all the information you need to build out the players just some suggestions and if you guys want me to do a deeper dive i can always do that as well but i will not have the card to showcase for y'all i'm just letting you know in advance i know some people waiting for me to open up this pack but i just won't be able to do that listen it's a beast card and if you do want to get it i'm not going to discourage you because the card is legit right the card's going to hold you down at least until if we're talking four or five months this card will hold you down through the summer and let's be real towards the end of the summer things start slowing down a bit because the nba season doesn't kick off until september it might only be like one more tier to drop from the summer until september so this jordan could hold you down for the rest of season six to be honest with you which means he still will be good going into season seven so some perspective there right as always i appreciate the support i will catch everyone in the next one stay balling